Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll be giving you a vigorous vinyasa flow today where we're really gonna target our core. We'll only need two yoga blocks, one bolster, as well as a yoga blanket today. If you don't have a yoga blanket, no problem. Just make sure that you have some fuzzy socks that can slide easily on hardwood or linoleum or tile floor. It might sound silly, but you'll understand later. As always, if I give you anything that doesn't feel good on your body, I encourage you to please skip it. You can always pause the video if you need a little bit more time to do something, and you're welcome to end early at any point. When you're ready, go ahead and find absolutely any comfortable seat that feels good on your body. You can even find a seat on your blanket or your bolster if you would like. Once you're seated and take your time, feel the length of the spine, close your eyes, and rest the palms down towards your inner legs. And right away, tune in to a deeper breath and connect with your true self, the Atman, and that part of you that's always there. And finding three deep breaths together, start to take a deep inhale through your nose, guiding your breath into your belly, into your chest, and take a big, slow exhale through your mouth. And two more like that if it felt good. Inhale through the nose, guiding your breath into your belly, your chest. And take a big, slow exhale through the mouth. And one more inhale through your nose, guiding your breath into your belly, into your chest, and exhale through the lips. Come back to your natural breath, releasing any effort, and take a moment to focus on at least three things that you're grateful for. and devote your practice to someone you love as well as to yourself. And gradually flutter your eyes open. Inhale, reach the hands up towards the sky and exhale, gather hands down to the heart center. You can be doing this from any seat. Inhale, swim the hands up to the sky. And exhale, lean over to the right, slide the right hand down the earth, look up to the ceiling. Straighten out the top arm and glue the left sit bone down. Press yourself back up, inhale, reach the hands. Exhale, lean to the left, straighten out the top arm and glue that right sit bone down to the floor. Press yourself back up, swim the hands up and lower hands down to the heart center. Interlace the fingers, spiral the palms forward. If this is too much on your wrist, you're just gonna put a little bend in the elbows. And then twist the heart to the right, keeping this clasp. Inhale, exhale. Twist the heart over to the opposite side. Palms are still facing forward, stretching out the wrists and the fingers. Inhale, exhale. Guide the heart back through center, release the clasp, make fists with your hands and circle out through your wrists. And then shake it out. Shift your weight forward into table. You can always have a blanket or a cushion underneath your knees every time they're on the floor, your choice. 
inhale cow pose draw your navel down look forward feel the shoulders peel back exhale cat pose around the spine lift the belly up and in and look to your thighs inhale cow belly down heart forward look forward exhale cat round tuck the tailbone feel the palms root and push down into the floor inhale exhale flow through these to the wave of your own breath inhaling on cow exhaling on cat Come back to a neutral spine. Now start to lift your right knee up and tuck the right tippy toes under on the floor behind you. Straighten the right leg and press the heel back. Keep the gaze down to the floor in between your thumbs to keep your neck straight. And then float the right heel up in line with the hip and send the right foot over to the right side. Lower the right foot down to the floor, toes in, heel out. Come to stand on the knee and your foot like so. And coming into gate pose, inhale, circle, sweep the hands up. Exhale, lean to the right, slide the right hand down the right leg, look up to the sky. Press yourself back up, lean over to the left this time and root the left palm down on the floor like so. Float the right hand up and send the right hand over to the side. Maybe put a little bend in that left elbow only if it feels good on your side body. And then press yourself back up, float the hand up, float your right heel up in line with the hip and bend the knee. Grab hold of your outer right ankle and pull the heel in towards the glute. You're of course more than welcome to skip this if it's too much on your knee. This usually feels really nice on the quad. Go ahead and release, lower the foot back down. Come to stand on the knee and the foot again. Float your hands up and shift forward. Let's come back to table, send that right knee back where it was before and sway the hips a little bit from side to side like you're wagging your tail. And then keeping the gaze down to in between the thumbs, come back to stillness. Lift the left knee, tuck the left toes under, firm the heel back, engage your quad. Float the left heel up in line with the hip and send the left foot over to the left side. Root the foot down to the floor over to the left side. Draw your toes in, heel out like so. Come to stand on the knee and the foot. Inhale, reach the hands up, gate pose, lean to the left, slide the left hand down, the left leg look up to the sky. And press yourself back up, lean over to the right, root the right palm down to the floor, lift the left hand up. Maybe put a little bend in that right elbow if it feels good on the side body, it can deepen the stretch. You might send that hand forward. And then press yourself back up, keep the right hand down, lift the left hand. Float that left heel up in line with the hip, bend the knee, send the heel back, and hold on to your outer left ankle, drawing the heel into the glute. I can go ahead and just skip this if that's too much on your knee. And then releasing from kneeling sugar cane, let go of your ankle, lower the foot back down where it was before. Press yourself up to stand on the knee and the foot. Reach the hands up and shift forward. Bring palms down. Ascend the left knee back into table. Sway those hips from side to side. And come back to stillness. Connect the big toes and sink the glutes down. Swim the hands forward. Surrender the forehead down child's pose. If this is too much on the knees, hips are higher, stack the forearms under the forehead. Take a deep breath here. And you can always come back to child's pose. And press yourself back up into table. 
and sway the hips a little from side to side again. Walk the knees back a few inches away from your hands. Tuck the toes, guide the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal out through those heels. As you're pedaling out through the heels, feel your arms straighten out, really rooting the index and the thumb fingers down. Gently rotate the biceps in towards the ears. It's a really subtle action. And then everyone, put a deep bend in the knees. Draw the hips up and back even more. You can always take down dog with bent knees like this, especially if you shift forward with straight legs or if that's just too much on your body. You're also always welcome to take down dog on hands and knees and tables like so if that's easier for you. And most of us will take down dog with hips up and back and legs straight or knees bent though. Whichever position you were in, come back to down dog and everyone put a deep bend in the knees. Look forward and slowly walk up to the front of your yoga mat. Lift up halfway, bring palms to shins, and look forward. Put a deep bend in the knees and soften the hands down towards the earth. And gently sway the upper body from side to side, just gently caressing the fingertips along your mat. Come back to stillness and slowly coil the spine up one notch at a time. Let the crown of the head be the last thing to lift. Inhale, circle, sweep the hands up, palms face in. Exhale, mountain, bring hands to frame the hips, palms face forward, engage your whole body. Inhale, circle, sweep the hands up. Exhale, swan dive forward, hinge from the hip creases, not the waist and forward fold. Hands can be down on the floor or blocks. Most of us will have a little or a big bend in the knees every time we take a forward fold. Legs are only straight if the belly kisses the legs and this isn't too much on your hamstrings or your back. You always wanna find a stretch that feels good, not one that's really intense and certainly not one that's painful. Lift up halfway, bring palms to shins, look forward and fold forward again. Keep pressing the weight forward into the toes instead of just your heels. So we're evenly rooting the feet down. Lift up halfway again. Go ahead and find your yoga blocks and bring them on the medium setting to frame the front of your mat. And bend the knees, plant the palms at the front of your yoga mat and gently step the right, then the left foot back to plank. Firm the thighs, firm the glutes, and tuck your tailbone. So think flat butt here. Keep the shoulders over the wrists. And you're always welcome to bring knees down in Chaturanga. Otherwise, if you can, keep them lifted and rock forward on the tips of the toes. Hug the elbows in lower. Three, two, one. So strong. Untuck the toes. Baby cobra to start off with. So lift the hands. Lift the chest, look down to the floor. And gently lower the palms and the forehead back down. Two more if that felt okay. This is so good for strengthening the lower back. Lift the hands, lift the heart, inhale, exhale. And gently lower the palms and the forehead. One more baby cobra, lift the hands and the heart, firm the thighs, keep the tops of the feet down, inhale. Exhale, lower the palms and the forehead. Tuck the toes under, rise up into full cobra, pull your ribs in, lower the shoulders back and down, and then lift the hips up and back to downward facing dog. Again, you can always bend the knees or bring knees down and down dog if that's too much. Keep breathing strong, engage and straighten out those arms. Everyone bend the knees deeply, look forward, firm your core muscles. Exhale, step or float to the front of your mat. Lift up halfway and fold forward. Bend the knees, straighten out the spine, rise up to stand, lift the hands to the sky. Exhale, mountain. Inhale, lift those hands up. 
Exhale, swan dive forward. Lift up halfway, bend the knees, plant the palms at the front of your mat. Step the left, then the right foot back to plank. Chaturanga, knees can be down or lifted, flowing through our vinyasa. Rock forward, lower, three, two, one. A cobra, pull those ribs in. Downward facing dog. Keep the whole body strong. And put a deep bend in the knees, look forward. Exhale, step or float to the front. Lift up halfway and fold in. Bend the knees, straighten the back, rise up strong, swim the hands up. Exhale, mountain. Go ahead, bring hands to your hips and step to the middle of your yoga mat. Come to face one side, put a deep bend in the knees. Exhale, step or float the feet out wide. Inhale, reach your hands up, draw toes in, heels out. Wide legged forward fold. Knees can always be bent here. You can bring hands to floor or blocks, or you could bring hands to your outer ankles. Keep drawing the shoulders up away from your ears. Engage the thighs, press the weight forward so you're not sinking back into the heels. And then lift up halfway, bring palms down to the floor. Lift the right hand up to the sky. Keep the hips even. Inhale, exhale. Lower the hand back down, slide heels in, toes out. Bend the knees until your thighs are parallel to the floor. Rise up, lift the hands up, goddess pose, create cactus arms. If you have more to give, lift those heels just or maybe not a have to, that is a lot. Inhale, exhale. Lower the heels if they were lifted, lean to the right, root the right forearm down to that right thigh and keep that left knee evenly bent. Find your breath. And come right back up to goddess and then lean forward halfway, deep breath. If you have more to give, lift the heels again. And then lower your palms down, lower the heels. Toes in, heels out, straighten the legs, fold. Now lift up halfway. And bring that right hand under the nose. Float the left hand up to the sky. Level the hips, find a breath. Lower the hand down. A slide, heels in, toes out, bend the knees. The thighs are parallel with the floor, rise up, goddess pose. If you have more to give, lift the heels, create cactus arms, deep breath. <sighs> Lower the heels if they were lifted, lean over to the left, bring the left forearm to the left thigh, keep that right knee over the right heel. <sighs> keep those hips low if you can. Rise back up, goddess. Lean forward halfway, lift the heels for more. Deep breath. And then lower the hands down, lower the heels, toes and heels out, straighten the legs wide, legged like forward fold. Rise up. Reach the hands and bring hands to your hips, bend the knees. Exhale, step or float the feet back together. Come back to the front of your yoga mat. Inhale, reach the hands. Exhale, fold. Lift up halfway. Bend the knees, plant the palms, either step or float back to plank, landing on bent elbows and flow through your vinyasa. Chaturanga, lower. Three, two, one. Cobra, pull the ribs in, keep the core strong. Tuck the toes down, dog. You've got this. Remember, you can always take a break. Now, this is a fast, challenging class. If you're breathing heavy, perfectly fine. That's healthy. And gently lower the knees down or float into a seat. And everyone, find a seat with the knees bent, soles of the feet down on the mat. 
Go ahead, hold on to behind the knees, lean the chest back halfway like so. In our boat pose, you can stay right here the whole time if you're still new to this. Otherwise, take the shins parallel to the ceiling for even more reach the hands forward, for even more straighten the legs, yogi's choice. Find a breath. And then bring hands to the heart. We're gonna capsize our boat. Take the heels and the shoulders to hover right above the floor. Deep breath. Rise back up your version of boat pose. And then capsize the boat, hover right above the floor. Lift back up boat. Two more if you can, hover. Lift back up, hover. And lift back up boat, really strong. Lower the feet down, give yourself a hug. And then come back up to boat. Bring hands to the heart, this time twist the heart over to the right, tap the fingertips down to the mat and come back through center. Twist to the left, tap the fingertips down, come back through center. One more on each side, twist to the right, tap the fingertips down, come back, twist to the left, come back. Lower the feet and hug your shins. And cross the legs, shift forward to table and either step or float back to plank, flow through your vinyasa. And from down dog, put a deep bend in the knees, look forward, exhale, step or float to the front. Lift up halfway and fold in. Bend the knees, rise up to stand, reach the hands up and lower hands to the heart center. Walk to the middle of your mat and come to face one side, it doesn't matter which side. Bring hands to hips, bend the knees. Exhale, step or float the feet out wide, lift the hands up, wide legged forward fold again, your version. Remember, you can use those blocks if you need them. Lift up halfway, and this time, bring the right hand under the nose, float the left hand up to the sky, and then bring the left hand to the lower back. For more, you could hold on to that outer right hip. Maybe look up to the ceiling for more, find your breath. Unwind, bring the top hand down under the nose, float that right hand up for more, bring the hand to the lower back for even more, hold on to that outer left hip, deep breath. Unwind, bring the hand down, slide heels in, toes out, bend the knees, goddess pose, rise up, create those cactus arms for more, lift your heels, find your breath. Lower the heels down, bring palms to your thighs and guide the chest forward halfway. And twist the heart over to the right for more, lower the shoulders down in line with the knees. Press yourself back up and twist over to the opposite side. One more twist on each side, flowing with the wave of your own breath. Press yourself back up into goddess and then lean forward, chest is parallel with the floor, reach the hands forward for more lift those heels, breathe. <sighs> Lower the heels, rise up goddess and finally lift the hips, lift the hands, toes in, heels out, wide legged forward fold. And I'm not teaching it today, but if it's already in your practice, you're welcome to take a tripod headstand here. And then lower back down if you were lifted. 
and rise up to stand, reach the hands to the sky, and guide hands to hips, bend the knees. Exhale, step or float the feet back together. Walk to the front of your mat, lift the hands, and fold forward. Rise up halfway, bend the knees, plant the palms at the front, step or float back to plank, landing on bent elbows, flow through your vinyasa. And either lower the knees down and find a seat or for more, bend the knees and gently float into a seat. And come to a seat, bringing the soles of the feet to your mat. One more round of boat pose. I know it's awful, but it's so good for our core. Reach those hands forward, lean the chest back halfway. Float the shins halfway or all of the way for more again. You can stay right here in bow if this is plenty, holding on to your knees with feet on the floor, your choice. And from whichever variation you're in, go ahead, tap hands to the heart, hover heels and chest right above the floor. Deep breath here, it's okay to shake, it's okay to quiver. Rise back up your version of boat, and then hover right above the mat, deep breath. Lift yourself up, boat, and hover. Arise back up, boat, and hover. Press yourself up, boat. Lower the feet, hug the shins. Go ahead and gently make your way into downward facing dog. Lift the right foot up to the sky, level the hips. Round in knee to nose and plank. Lift the hips a little higher than the shoulders and step the right foot forward. You can always bring hand to your ankle and then bring the foot forward if that's too much. Crescent pose, root the feet down, rise up to stand, lift the hands to the sky. Firm the thighs, level those hips, inhale, exhale. Bring hands down to the heart, interlace the fingers, spiral the palms forward, twist the heart to the right, unwind. Release your clasp, float those hands back up, and bring hands to the heart, twist to the right. For more, you have the option to hook the left elbow outside of the right knee, keeping hands at the heart. Rise back up, crescent. Keep that front knee over the heel and bring hands down to frame the front foot. Step back plank, bring the outer right foot to the floor, left foot on top. Lift the left hand to the sky. If that's too much, bring the right knee down like so. Take a deep breath. Or lower the left hand down, come back to plank, flow through your vinyasa. I'll lift the left foot to the sky, level the hips, round in knee to nose and plank, firm the core, step the left foot forward, rise up crescent, deep breath. Bring hands to the heart, interlace the fingers, spiral the palms forward, twist to your left. Unwind, release the clasp, float the hands up, and bring hands down to your heart. Twist to the left again for more. Lean forward, hook that right elbow outside of the left knee, keep breathing. Release and rise back up. And bring hands down to frame your front foot. Step back plank. And bring the outer left foot to the floor, right foot on top. Reach the right hand up to the sky if that's too much. Bring that left knee down. Keep breathing strong, whichever version you're in. 
Now bring the right hand back down plank, flow through your vinyasa. And bend the knees and gently step or float down into a seat. Come to lay down on your mat, pull the knees in and rock a little bit from side to side. Straighten the legs out, lift them up to the sky and point the toes creating plantar flexion. Interlace the fingers behind the back of your head and lift the chest up. Hover the right heel forward, down, and back towards the floor. And twist the heart to the left, tap that right elbow to the left knee. If this is too much, bend both of your knees here. Remember, you can always skip something. Float the right heel up, send the left heel forward and down. Twist the heart to the left, left elbow, right knee. Flow through these to the wave of your, your own breath, inhaling to one side. Exhaling to the opposite. And then come back to stillness, pull the knees in, rock from side to side. And go ahead and press yourself up into a seat. Plant the palms, either step or float back into plank and flow through a vinyasa. And gently lower the knees down and preparing for that variation of core work where we're going to need either our yoga blanket or warm fuzzy socks that slide easily on a floor, go ahead and have your blanket set up and place it away from your mat on a floor that will easily slide. Come to stand on your blanket and if you're not using a blanket, if you're using socks, go ahead and put your socks on. Now you're welcome to pause the video and go ahead and set up. Now, whether you're standing on your blanket or you're using slippery socks like I am, go ahead and inhale, reach the hands up and fold forward. Lift up halfway, bend the knees and plant the palms in front of your blanket or in front of your socks. Make sure you have plenty of room behind you. So I'm gonna have to move forward. Go ahead, firm those core muscles and slide your socks or your blanket with your feet back behind you coming into plank. And then down dog. Come back to plank and slide the socks or the blanket forward to tap your wrists, fold forward. We'll do a few more like that. Let's see how this feels. Bend the knees, keep those hands firmly rooted down to the floor. Slide your feet back, plank, and right back, down dog. And come back to plank. Slide the feet forward, tap your wrists, forward fold. Really nice work. A few more, slide those feet back, plank, rise up, down dog. Come back to plank, slide the feet forward, tap the wrists, and last one, I promise, slide the feet back, down dog, back to plank, slide the feet forward, tap the wrists, forward fold. Bend the knees, rise up to stand, swim the hands up, and bring hands to the heart. Make fists circle through your wrists, shake it out. Go ahead, come to lay down on your yoga mat, pull the knees in, rock from side to side. Lower the soles of the feet down, lift just the right foot and rest the outer right ankle on the left thigh, flex the right foot and press the right knee forward only as far as feels good. 
Open the wings out wide, keeping this figure four shape, send the knees to the left, either on blocks, a bolster, or down to the floor for more. Slide the chest to the left to a few inches and find a deep breath. gently lift those knees back up slide the heart back through center you're welcome to stay right here keep this right foot flexed wherever you are for more take a block or two under the left foot for more interlace the fingers behind the left thigh or in front of the left shin maybe rock a little from side to side to massage the lower back and come back to stillness Connect with your breath. Keep that right foot flexed up and back towards the shin. The shoulder blades stay down on the floor as well. Deeper never means better. We want to find a stretch that feels good on our body instead of intense. And gently lower the left foot down, lower the right foot down. Now lift the left foot, rest the outer left ankle on the right thigh, flex the left foot. Open the wings wide, send the knees to the right, keeping this figure four shape either on bolster, blocks, or down to the floor. Slide the chest to the right a few inches, connect with your breath. Float your knees back up, slide your heart back through center. And you can stay right here, keep the left foot flexed. You can take a block or two under the right foot for more interlace the fingers behind the right thigh or in front of the right chin. Maybe rock a little bit from side to side. Again, keep that left foot flexed and come back to stillness. Melt the right foot back down. Lower the left foot down. Keep the knees bent. Open the wings wide. Heel to the feet out a few inches wider. Flex the feet. Draw them up and back towards the shin so that only the heels are on the floor. And slowly windshield wiper the knees from right to left. Only going as far as feels good on your body. You're just gently inhaling the knees over to one side, keeping the feet flexed and exhaling them over to the opposite side. And then draw your knees back up. Heel toe the feet back in towards center, straighten the legs, flex the feet, lift up into a seat. You're welcome to slide a bolster or a blanket under your, under your glutes. Inhale, float the hands, exhale, fold. Press yourself back up and gently melt the spine back down to the floor, Shavasana. Slide the heels as wide as the short edge of the yoga mat. Slide the hands about 18 inches wider than the hips, palms face up. You can bend the knees or slide a bolster under the knees if your back hurts. And gently let the top eyelashes kiss the bottom. And take another deep inhale through the nose. And a big exhale through the mouth. 
Allow your body and minds to completely relax and surrender to the stillness of the here and the now. And gently flutter the eyes open and wiggle the fingers and the toes. And press yourself up into any comfortable seat and bring hands to the heart. Thank you so much for joining me today.